Good morning. Today is Tuesday, December the 13th. Uh, it is uh, 7 degrees outside, so it's kind of chilly this morning. A little bit different than it was in the last couple days. Uh, but we're still running really well. We're running at 717 kilowatts right now, uh, which means the, both units are really running well. Um, Flow is still good. Uh, the water level is almost right where it should be right now. So uh, we're matching what's coming in with what we can go through the plant. So with that, all it tails is the water level starting to drop down to normal levels. Still get plenty of flow, uh, but that, that'll be decreasing in the next few days. Uh, it is supposed to be sunny today. Uh, it's going to be a little bit warmer than it has been uh, today. It's going to be in the th 33, so, uh, and that's, that's a little bit warmer. Uh, yesterday went up and uh, worked on the, uh, the flooded basement up in, uh, in uh, Indian Lake. We, uh, we actually, Lee and I actually got it pumped out, uh, made a repair to his uh, his system, his, his uh, sump pump, got his running along with with our heavy volume pump, and we got it. Uh, we got about uh, 34 to 36 inches pumped out of his basement, and about two, oh, maybe two and a, two hours. wasn't too bad. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately for him, he he had, he had to pay for for the for the, the rental on the uh, uh, on my sump pump, and uh, I charged him just to labor on it. He put the he put his own sump pump in and uh, did it. He did something incorrectly, and, and that created the problem. You can see we we're back to snow. Um, getting a little nervous on the uh, the snowfall. The scheduled for Thursday, Thursday night into Friday. Well, actually, I'll be into Saturday. You can see our water levels are down. I'm not going to walk all the way out there. I'm going to walk over to this to the edge where our my little scrap pile is bundled up and show you uh, the river this morning. See, it's down. We're not, we're not putting nearly any water over that. Uh, we can walk up that way, I guess. Take a look. Put my, put my hood up, so it's because it's a little bit, a little bit chilly out. A little cold on the ears. Uh, so, uh, yeah. But back to, back to the. the the guy that did his own sump, uh, sump pump, that's fine. We, I don't mind that. I don't mind working on it, coming up, and going, okay, you, well, you did this wrong. Uh, but when when you do that uh, kind of work and you screwed it up, something happened, something's going on, and it's not working. <clears throat> it's not an emergency on my part. So I'll fit it into my schedule. When I get there, I get there. And it's going to cost you what it's going to cost you. If it was my fault. That's a total different thing. Yesterday morning when I got got here, uh, I was here probably 10 minutes, just starting my routine. And the, uh, the power went out. Well, the, the problem with the power going out the way our system is designed uh, for the protection of the linemen, we, our generation stops completely uh, when, uh, when, when, the, uh, when the power is out. If it was my, my design or my preference of how it was designed, uh, I myself would keep it so that we could continue to make production uh, even though we're not putting it out onto the to the grid, the, the grid the grid connection would shut off when the power went out. 
and uh, then then we could just reset the grid connection. That way we continue to have lights and heat <laughs> in the building. Uh, that, that's that's a, an issue that I see. Do I think we'll ever fix it? Nope. <laughs> I always do that one day if I ever if I ever come across money. I would buy the place and, and re redo that. But as you can see, things are a lot, lot, lot slower, a lot lower. downstream there. Let's walk, let's walk over that way. Let's take a take a quick gander what's going on. A lot of squirrel tracks through here. You can see the uh, the powerhouses right down there. Looking for that, uh, actually looking for the log that had come down, and I don't see it, so it's gone. And it could be submerged underwater yet, but I believe, it's, I believe it's all the way downstream somewhere. We'll walk back that way, take a gander down behind the, uh, the powerhouse. The rocks, the, the, the rock I was, that I thought was kind of strange, it was just ice forming on it. The, the way the ice was formed, it, it made it look different. So yeah, it's, uh, the ice has melted off of it at this time. So, uh, and that's probably just because of the volume of water that's coming down, washed it away. Uh, if the sun sh was shining on the, uh, on the rock, it warmed it up enough that it melted. Or uh, when, the, when the power was out, when the power goes out, the water is all that's going to come up because there's nothing going through the plant. So the water could have washed it away. Um, water temperature is just at uh, about 33 degrees. So the, the surface has got some, some uh, thin ice where it's where the, uh, the water's not, not moving, but the moving water is, is indeed warmer. Chickens are out, the chickens are fed. You gotta get their, uh, their heated water out so they can have some warm water. Uh, I gotta find my three-way plug first because I lose stuff like that all the time. Otherwise, they're gonna, it's going to be on with their light bulb all the time. They don't, I don't think they'll like that. I don't think they'll like to, like, they like to have some, some time when they can close their eyes and go to sleep. Like us, uh, you know, they, they're not going to, they don't sleep well with the lights on, so. I'm not going to walk down there, but as you can see, water is receding a little bit there. The, the big rock is starting to poke its head out. Uh, it won't be long and uh, we'll be back down to uh, to where we should be. You can kind of get a glimpse of, of downstream this morning. Man, it's chilly out here. We got a little breeze blowing too and that really doesn't help. Uh, Today we'll be working inside. <laughs> I got a uh, got to put a uh, concentric vent in, uh, which is it, it takes air in and it puts air out on the same same tube, same hole. So I'm gonna get that put in. That take won't take very long. Then we're going up to uh, Sabil to work on that system up there. Uh, Got to take some some of the uh, 
let's take some of the, the pecs with us so we can wrap up. I take some copper up there so we can start mounting the uh, the valve body for the shower. Uh, Got to get a hold of the uh, the inspector and uh, get that inspected. We'd we'll like to do that uh, first part of next week. And then we can be done with that that our, without that part of the job. Then it's go up and finish up. Uh, the problem that the problem that the inspector is going to have is the uh, the homeowner slash self contractor uh, had dug the trenches across and I laid the pipe in. And, and what we normally do is we lay the pipe, we run everything, we get everything done, uh, all the water lines in, we get all, you know, and, and have everything ready to go. Have the inspector come inspect everything. Uh, the problem was he laid concrete over top of our pipes. So he thought he would just, you know, I oh, just fill that in. They're done with that, so I'll just fill that in. Uh, so I don't know how the inspector's going to take that. We'll, let, we'll deal with that when we get there. I mean, there's not a whole lot we can do. Uh, just say, there it is. That's, I don't know how else to do it. <laughs> uh, it is a pretty good guy. He's pretty understanding, so, uh, but I think we'll be okay. Um, had a couple calls, a couple generator calls yesterday, of course, because the power was out. One of them was the same lady out in uh, Pasico who has the fuel issue. She, she called again. She said yesterday the, the light was green when I went to bed. I know it was green. I looked at it. Uh, she said this morning it wouldn't start. So when I went out, when I, when we, I said, well, I'll come out. We, so we rolled out. We checked it out. Uh, I walked over and I shook the tank, generator would start. So I'm thinking there's a problem with the propane end of it. And well, I know there's a problem with the propane end of it. The propane is on somebody else's end of it. So I'm going to have to give them a call and, and, and talk to them and say, I have no other idea what it could be because it runs fabulous as soon as it gets propane. So uh, and it's never had an issue. It just started to have an issue. So it might be. As simple as the regulator starting to fail or sticking closed or whatever, and just won't open up. And that is a real possibility. <coughs> so anyhow, that's that. Uh, we're gonna do some do some odd and ends. Um, I did I did send a report into my uh, uh, to the immediate group uh, my, for my Tuesday, Tuesday, I do a weekly uh, report for uh, Tuesdays. Uh, basically what I've done, what, what's happening, and what's, what my concerns are, what I'm thinking about. Uh, and I t mentioned that uh, probably going to have to send the tractor in to somebody to get it fixed. Uh, I've worked on it several times and I'm not a mechanic and I, and I told them on the uh, on, on my uh, report that I'm a plumber. I don't have mechanic tools. <laughs> I just don't have them. And I'm not really interested in buying mechanic tools. I'm, I'm a plumber. So, uh, such is life. That is, that is we, this is the kind of stuff that we do uh, on a normal basis. I think I'm going to go out here to check the big unit real quick. I want to look at uh, <coughs> we want to look at the pressure that's coming down. Also, I was looking for my for my three-way splitter, and we're a little low on our pressure. That, that does mean that we're getting some debris left. On the wax, uh, we'll probably clean those tomorrow. We'll let things run today. And I said we'll let them probably let them run tomorrow until tomorrow uh, because it's really difficult to clean at uh, seven degrees. 
you really want warmer weather to, to clean because you use an aluminum pole <laughs> with a rank attachment. And uh, that's, uh, that's pretty hard to, uh, to get off your gloves once it froze. cash job I've got to do on Thursday for a lady down in Wells. Uh, so I'm just checking them. I, I, she needs the uh, uh, a gas hookup for her stove. It's, it's there. It's all ready to go. The, gas, the, the stove is converted. It's ready to, to be put in. <coughs> <coughs> but the gas line that goes into it is uh, broken or flared really weird, so uh, we need to uh, put a flex line on it. You're gonna always want a flex line on a stove because when they pull out, you want them to be able to come out and move. So we're gonna have to find a, a fitting. Uh, that, that I can go from, it's going to probably be a half inch copper flare fitting to uh, uh, to our quick connect or our, our connection here, which should be that's a half inch. So that's the kind of stuff that we got to do. We kind of come, come up with this kind of stuff all the time, trying to find pieces, parts to make things work. Uh, when you don't do it as much as, as you'd like to, well, that's just one of those. We do the best we can with what we got to work with. just gonna have to buy one at the, at, the, at the store and get one. Let's pick one up. Uh, but that's one of those things that, that you never know what you're gonna run into until you get there. Uh, the gas guys have all those parts on them. But that's what they do with everything. Uh, you know, I have <clears throat> I have things they don't carry. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they, they, they won't carry a, a uh, a half inch to a three eighths uh, a quarter turn shutoff valve for for your kitchen sink because that's not what they do. Uh, they may be able to do that, but they don't have that. So that's the kind. Of, that's that's the thing. You, you call people and go. Well, it's really simple. You just got to do this. Well, there's no such thing as really simple. So, <laughs> all right. Well, we're getting kind of long on our video. Uh, again, uh, you know, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, it helps out the channel. We, we see if we can get some some more content, some different content. Some of the uh, parade things have really taken off and got some really good views. So, uh, uh, you know, that's the kind of stuff you want to see. That's the kind of stuff we're trying to do. Uh, trying to get more more fire department activity involved. Anyways, yeah, so... We're gonna cut it off at this point. Uh, let me know what you think. Comment down below. Uh, you guys have a great day. Stay dry, stay warm, and we'll see you tomorrow.